What is up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay, so the last time we uh, talked about, well, the, actually in the last two videos, we looked at all of the ports and protocols you need to know for the test. And uh, now in the next three videos, we're going to dig into everything related to Wi-Fi. Now, I just want to take a moment to stop and thank you. If you've actually been following these videos through, you've actually been taking notes. I commend you, okay? Because a lot of people won't do that. A lot of people give up after the first two videos. You know, a lot of people will just say, you know, I can't do this, or they'll skip it, or, um, you know, whatever, whatever the excuse is. But if you've actually been following through and taking notes, you're committed. And uh, that's the kind of person, that's the kind of person it takes to pass this test, all right? So I'm, I'm vouching for you, man. I am, I'm totally on your side, all right? Uh, or girl, if you're a girl watching this, which is pretty cool, because we need more girls, uh, more chicks in IT. So, uh, so basically, uh, what we're going to look at is Wi-Fi, right? So let's start with WEP, um, web. Actually, let me back up. This is what we're going to talk about. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little disconnected today. So we're going to talk about WEP. We're going to talk about WPA, WPA2, LEAP, PEEP, EAP. And we are also going to dig into CCMP and TKIP. That's a mouthful. Uh, but let's start with web. So wired equivalent privacy, the whole purpose behind this was to make the wireless medium as secure as the wired medium. Of course, with wireless, you've got data flowing through the air, and so it's very easy if you have a transceiver to intercept and potentially modify data communications. You can compromise the integrity of the data uh, and the confidentiality, obviously, if it's not encrypted. Um, when you're sending data through fiber optic cables or uh, through a copper medium like Ethernet, you don't really have the same security concerns that you have with Wi-Fi. So, um, WEP, the whole purpose of WEP was to try to make it as secure as the Ethernet. And it, it really didn't work. In fact, it was deprecated in 2004. It was beset with vulnerabilities from the start. Uh, this is easily evidenced if you just open up Kali Linux and you type Wi-Fi, W-I-F-I-T-E, using the dash dash WEP option, you can easily crack a WEP password in less than two minutes. You could also easily end up in jail in less than two minutes too. So I do not recommend it for those reasons. Uh, but I just wanted to let you know about that. So. Um, what, uh, WPA, the Wi-Fi Protected Access, this was the successor to uh, WEP, and it was meant to sort of be like a, it was supposed to be like a holdover, like a, a temporary solution um, for the problems that were uh, plaguing WEP. The idea is that you didn't actually have to replace your hardware. You could just upgrade your existing configuration, and you'd have all the, you know, enhanced security features of WPA. Now, it used TKIP. So the Temporal Key Integrity Protocol with RC4, Revest Cipher number four. And the reason why TKIP was more secure than WEP was because it allowed, it, it actually encrypted each wireless packet with a, with a unique encryption key. So it made it a lot more difficult to uh, crack. But of course, the hackers found a way to crack it. And uh, that's why WPA has been deprecated. It's been replaced by WPA2, the Wi-Fi Protected Access number two. Uh, this uh, is the current standard. It's also known as 802.11i. And um, with WPA2, you're actually using CCMP, the Cypher Block Chaining Message Authentication Code Protocol. Okay, CCMP, I know it's a mouthful. Uh, but that is what is used there, and it's way more secure than uh, WPA. The other thing, of course, is that you need new hardware to, to run this, but most laptops and uh, computers these days are, have the sufficient hardware requirements um, to use WPA2. So it's not even an issue. You don't even really even have to worry about that. Uh, so that's all you need to know about WPA2 and WPA. Um, one other thing about WPA2, I just thought about this, is it also has been cracked. And you could either have a machine with a bunch of GPUs, like a, a really uh, a beefed up gaming machine. A lot of gamers, they have lots of you know, graphical processing units, and these are perfect for cracking uh, passwords. Or you could use aircrack-ng to just intercept the four-way handshake. In other words, you can, have, you can de authenticate somebody who's connected to the WPA2 network and then force them to, re when they re-authenticate automatically, you can intercept the four-way handshake and then crack the password that way. So, you know, it's, it's, no, it's by no means immune to being cracked. The hackers will always find a way to crack stuff. Uh, so now we need to look at EAP. So EAP is the extensible authentication protocol. It is a framework for, uh, for, for creating and, and transferring cryptographic keys securely between two machines. And those cryptographic keys are actually known as a pairwise master key, a PMK. That is the key that you need to know about for the um, EAP. It's just, a, but it's just a framework. It's just a, um, you can, it's modular. You can add other things into it. For example, Leap, the lightweight extensible authentication protocol. Leap, <laughs> man, what is wrong with me? Leap, 
so uh, that is uh, it's lightweight. So obviously, you know, you could imagine from the name, it doesn't have as many features as Eep. So it's not really used that much. But Peep is the protected extensible authentication protocol, and that's better because it actually encapsulates the Eep traffic in a TLS tunnel, transport layer security tunnel, and it uses digital certificates. So that's why it is uh, more desirable. So that's all I have today. Um, we're going to jump tomorrow. We're actually going to dig into captive portals. We're going to dig into um, hiding your SSID. Like, why the crap would you do that? Does it really work? And also Mac filtering, right? So catch me tomorrow, 8 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Central. Make sure you thumb this video up and subscribe. Oh, subscribe. <laughs> I tr trust me, I did not drink any alcohol, okay? I I I'm not drunk. Um, I just love Jesus. That's why I'm so happy. All right. So that's all I have for you. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning. And we're going to dig into this. You're going to pass this test. You got this, baby. You got this. And uh, subscribe because I love it. All right. Catch you later. Peace.